Hello everyone and welcome to the session on becoming a researcher stage by stage. I'm joining you virtually from um, a lovely autumn day in the inner west. Um, we decided to take a slightly different view on the idea of the stage process at UTS because whilst there's very clear milestones that you'll need to meet during your PhD, um, everyone's PhD is really different and the stages that are part of the formal structure don't necessarily meet up with the different processes that you will go through in forming your researcher identity. And the other thing is that the stage processes don't necessarily discuss how it is that we go about forming our um, researcher identity. So I thought I would share some of my journey and changes. I smile there because I know quite a few people really dislike the term PhD journey. Um, so maybe I'll stick with experience. Um, so I began my PhD in 2009 after working um, mostly in East Timor in development, so for NGOs and the UN and the government there. And I had found an issue that I was really passionate about. I was really overworking on other people's projects. Um, and I felt like I wanted to make a change in the world. So naturally I came to ISF. And when I began the PhD, I would have said that I was really confident as a professional um, uh, in my own ability to undertake research. And, and I guess I had a real driving passion about um, the point of a PhD is to change the world, it's not just to produce a written text. There were parts of me that were really unconfident. I really hated the idea at the beginning of having to present my research or having to write my research because it didn't fit with my personality, which I think um, I'm uh, someone who likes to engage in dialogue. So writing a journal article felt like having to commit my ideas in black and white and that it didn't allow for acknowledging that other people might have other views. So that right from the beginning of my PhD has been a big fear for me. Um, I then spent my first two years of my PhD doing scoping visits, applying for lots of grants and scholarships. I think I applied for about 10 and maybe I got about two and actually going and doing my research. So this process all changed my identity as well and um, I found it challenging because I was going from being a very confident professional to suddenly feeling like um, someone, you know, I, in one, on one hand I had a whole bunch of skills that were really, really good, but on the other hand I still didn't quite fit into academia or know if I wanted to fit into academia or really understand what academia was. And that probably took me about four years to figure that out because you know I came in with a certain idea of the PhD and that developed over the time at, like what actually is a doctorate um, at the time that I started it I thought it was a piece of research that I could give to policymakers to change their policy I then shifted to seeing it as an apprenticeship in research I think I probably shifted again to seeing it um, as a process that you go through to form your researcher identity. Um, so, you know, my PhD experience has had highs and lows. Um, I certainly no longer fear the publication process. I'm probably at the opposite end of the scale and fear not being published now. Um, and uh, the text that we've asked you all to read, which is about writing the scholar, 
um, for me, it's a really important text because it busts some of the myths about the research process, which is, you know, year one, you will do your lit review and prepare your fieldwork, and year two, you'll go and do your actual research, and then year three, you'll write it, and that it all exists logically in your head, and it's just a process of writing it down. And it was never that for me. And when I read um, Camlan Thompson's text about how writing work is also identity work, and as you write, you kind of stake your ground as a researcher and who you align yourself with and who you don't align yourself with, that really resonated for me. Um, and it also allowed me to start writing from a point of non-confidence. It allowed me to say, okay, well, I don't have to have this stuff figured out in my head beforehand the process of writing is staking my claim and the process of writing is the process of forming my researcher identity. Um, so I hope that gives you some food for thought um, and I hope you have wonderful conversations in your group work today and that other people will be willing to share um, their researcher experience.